Hey there, fellas. Recognize this car right here? The well-ventilated one. Which I recall one of our viewers naming Spongebob. Yeah, I can definitely see it. Anyway, it appears that this is the last time we'll be seeing the car in this particular form. It's in for a few alterations. Right, so here's the idea. A lot of people requested we do a transparent car. They were like, make something that you can see right through, with all of the inner workings clearly visible. So yeah, let's go ahead and get a transparent body happening on this chassis. We're obviously going to leave all of the metal load-bearing elements, but the exterior skin and all that stuff is going to be see-through in order to display everything that's inside. Okay, let's make it and go for a drive. The world's first transparent Lada. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Check out what we've got here, fellas. We took out as much sheet metal as we thought possible, so yeah. We undressed the car. In theory, the car should remain structurally sound with whatever's left. If we had made the entire thing out of this stuff, it wouldn't be roadworthy, would it now? It looks pretty cool. We sprayed on a bit of paint to give it a sort of pleasant color, which would emphasize the car's transparency. Now, in order for it to drive, and it will, we need to install an engine. Right here, you'll be able to see all of that through this makeshift hood. We'll give it a clean, slap a motor in to make the car drive, which we'll also wash and paint to make it look cool, so as to make it stand out next to everything else. And then we drive somewhere. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so here we are, we've installed the motor, you can clearly see it in there. We did have to use a jerry can as a fuel reservoir, we're not running a conventional fuel tank back there. As to make the whole thing as see-through as possible. Okay, so this autumn weather is a bit of a downer, it is quite cold outside, and as far as I can tell, the people aren't really in that great of a mood. A good idea would be to drive out onto the road, where we have plenty of people around. Hopefully we can at least cheer somebody up, get them to smile despite it being the autumn season. Let's roll! It's like driving an aquarium, I gotta tell ya. Seriously though. I can see everybody. 
and I'm pretty sure they can see me as well. The car has become very light, to the point where it's a bit twitchy. The engine is so eager to rev up, with it being under such low stress. It's kind of hard to imagine how much the car might weigh now, after we removed all of that extra sheet metal. Looks like we're onto a new weight reduction method. Good thing we installed a rearview mirror. Everybody seems to be cool with it. The people are getting a good laugh, eh, which is normal. What can I tell you? This is a legit weight reduction method. It's actually very fast, due to it being such a featherweight. The engine is cool, the carburetor is good, but the main thing here is the look. I mean, this car's appearance, it looks quite unusual, pretty damn cool. I'm getting looks from both youngsters and older folk. Everybody's smiling and digging it. They must be a bit shocked. So what do you think? Oh man, that's sick. <laughs> Thanks, man. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> Very unusual. I thought it'd be chilly, but it's like driving around in a greenhouse. Once the sun comes out, you immediately get cooked. Though you do get some wind through the window. Otherwise, it's all good. I'm flying blind. Oh man, it all went straight into the cabin. What a nice car we've made. Fantastic. And here we are. Just as we expected, the cabin is immediately filled with smoke. Anyway, fellas, we've just had a lovely drive around the city. It's all good, we somewhat cheered the people up. This one didn't leave anybody lukewarm. Though we did get a question that was like, it's all in good fun, man. All in all, we're looking pretty good. I like, and hopefully you guys did too. Anyway, fellas, you watch us, subscribe, send in those comments and suggestions, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.